Mad Consultants. Hello and welcome to today's business analysis session. My name is Monica. I'm Abby. I'm Anna. And I'm Daniela. And together we are Mad HR Consultants. Do you have a troublesome problem on your hand? Well, don't be mad. Just call on MAD consultants to help you gain a deeper understanding of the roots of your problems, to discuss possible solutions, and come to terms with the best solutions for your case. So you can achieve top performance results and happy work relationships. Now, let's start by hearing from our clients of the day. Henry Tam and Igor Pkachenka. Hi, Henry. Hi, Mad Consultants. I've got a math case on my hands. Sure. How can we help you, Henry? So, you see, I entered my school's annual business plan contest in late January and teamed with Harvard Business School, classmate Dana Solomon, and the founders of startup company Music Games International. Progress on the business plan has been slow, but we have a promising product, a CD-ROM music game that children enjoyed playing while learning about music. However, the team cannot agree on the fundamental aspect of the plan the target market for the product, which is making it difficult to move forward. Dana and I want to focus in the education market, whereas the founders want to go after the larger, more competitive entertainment market. With the business plan due in just three weeks, I'm reaching out for your help, Mad HR Consultants. My goal is to find a way to pull the team together and salvage the situation. We see, Henry. Thank you for telling us about your situation. Don't fret. It sounds like you have a team that's got what it takes to do well in the business plan contest. I can understand your feelings of frustration from time crunch. And as a graduate student, your anxiousness about the worst job market in over a decade in the wake of the internet crash. However, rest assured, we will help you build a suitable solution to help your team improve team performance. Please tell us more about the Harvard Business School annual case competition. Ah, so the Harvard Business School business plan contest was created to educate and prepare students for future entrepreneurship opportunities. This contest gives students the opportunity to receive realistic advice from supportive experts and venture capitalists on their ideas for launching a business with a bonus of $60,000 in prize for top teams. After my first meeting of Igor, I immediately knew that I wanted to join the MGI team as I loved the creativity and charisma I saw within him. Igor will fill you in on the company details. Wonderful, thank you, Henry. Let's welcome your teammate, Igor. Vivian Igor, please tell us about your company, Music Games International, and your teammates. Привет, Daniela. Uh, yes, Music Game International is a small startup company established in the aftermath of internet bubble bust with three founders. My friend and 18, uh, 1987 HBS alumnus Alexander uh, Gimplison, we call him Sasha, my friend and fellow composer Roman Jakob, and I, an accomplished musician and composer. We also later brought on two HBS students, Henry and Dana, and two additional students, Dove, an MIT Brain and Cognitive Science grad student, and Alex, a student in Berkeley College of Music, creating a group of diverse views and talents. We see huge potential for our software, but are struggling to collaborate effectively to achieve our goal of successful scaling our business and write a business plan that will win HBS and MIT annual business plan. Thank you, Igor and Henry. We will first analyze the informative materials you've included in your case. Then we will identify some key issues and come up with a final set of solutions that is best suited to your situation. From our team to yours, thank you for entrusting us with assisting you in achieving your business goals. Any questions or concerns, give us a call anytime. Oh. Ciao. Bye. 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 好的,一起加油。嗯。До встречи。Хорошо,поехали! Thesis statement. We believe that the major issues facing the NGI team relate to process, task, and relationship conflict between the team members. We will recommend that the team adopt a collaborative, goal-focused strategy to move beyond these conflicts and successfully execute their plan. 
Moving on to talking about the types of conflicts, our goal today here is to help Henry find a way to pull the MGI team together and salvage the situation. Your MAD HR consultants have chosen to focus our analysis of the MGI team under the three key types of issues, process conflict, relationship conflict, and task conflict. Corresponding to each type of conflict, the desired outcome would be reflected in improved team performance. First, let's discuss what an effective team looks like. Haas and Mortensen argue that today's diverse, dispersed, digital, and dynamic teams require four enabling conditions. Clear direction, strong structure, supportive context, and a shared mindset. A successful team has a clear, universally agreed upon goal. Optimize tasks and processes. Establish norms of positive behavior. The necessary resources to achieve the team goal and a common sense of identity and purpose. We observe that the MGI team has failings in all of these metrics, contributing to a situation of heightened conflict, characterized by an us versus them mentality, as we will discuss in this presentation. Conflict dynamics. Knowing the fundamentals of an effective team, we will proceed to analyze the conflicts presented by the MGI team. When conflicts occur within any team, as with the MGI team, and between their team members. These six stages or events of conflict dynamic often transpire, according to John and Sachs. Stage one, winning the conflict becomes more important than developing a good solution to the problem at hand. This is a big warning sign of destructive team conflict. This need to win is primarily seen between Dana and Sasha at team meetings. It seems with every new meeting, the focus of winning the conflict crescendos to cover the need to determine a shared solution to the challenge of selecting a market audience. Stage two, the parties begin to conceal information from each other or to pass on distorted information. Henry and Dana start to pull tricks like playing good cop, bad cop to manipulate the discussions and attempts to lead the team to the answers they hope to see or topics they wish to discuss. Shared correct information is fundamental to good team performance. Everyone should feel comfortable speaking about their questions, comments, or concerns on a team. Instead of encouraging open discussion, their choice to form a subgroup within the team produced sides, as in stage three. Each side becomes more cohesive. Deviants who speak of conciliation are punished and strict conformity is expected. As Dave observed from team meetings, the MGI founders appear to have a fixed mindset and present a united front, implying they also hold a small subgroup. The expected strict conformity amongst the MGI founders was evident. When Roman took Henry and Dana's ideas with an open mind, this resulted in an MGI founders only stairwell discussion, reminding them of what their thoughts should be. Stage four, contact with the opposite party is discouraged except under formalized restricted conditions. When it came to planning for the third meeting, Henry and Dana versus Sasha was at a rigid front. Sticking to the knees to win against their teammates, Henry and Dana dismissed Sasha's attempts to communicate and failed to incorporate his ideas until they have to. And as expected, this led to a disheartening scene to be witnessed within a team at the third team meeting, which was reflective of stage five. While the opposite party is negatively stereotyped, the image of one's own position is boosted. Henry and Dana arrived at the third meeting with a PowerPoint presentation summarizing the work they had done so far and impressed many teammates. At the same time, putting Sasha's graph paper pencil sketched points to shame. Although Sasha's points are lacking in presentation, which may be stereotyped as lousy work or lacking of importance, no member should be made to feel unwanted or incapable. Henry spoke of this event as the coup in terms of him and Dana taking charge and recalled that everyone was looking at our slides and forgot about Sasha. Forgot. It's sounding like this yielded that giddy feeling after winning something for Henry, along with a hint of negative put down of Sasha. This conflict dynamic seems to have blinded the members, causing them to forget that they are on the same team working towards the same goal to produce a successful business plan. Unfortunately, MGI's team conflict reached a forte of stage six. On each side, more aggressive people who are skilled at engaging in conflict may emerge as leaders. The so-called sides emerge naturally under conflict dynamics, given the defensiveness of the Harvard grad students and of MGI founder at this point. Sasha does not hold back outlashes, including openly calling Dana's words BS, despite her research evidence. And between Dana and Henry, Dana is the one who is more vocal. These two main vocalists led debates on almost every issue. 
as you see, problems can quickly escalate to the point that the conflict process itself becomes an additional problem. Causes of conflict include group identification and intergroup bias, interdependence, culture, power, and status, ambiguity, and scarce resources. The events outlined by the six stages of conflict dynamics counter the attainment of agreements and solutions. We will now discuss MGI team conflicts in terms of the three types of conflicts, process, task, and relationship conflict. Process conflict. Process conflict involves disagreements about how work should be organized and accomplished. It includes disagreements about responsibility, authority, resource allocation, as well as who should do what. By looking at the conflict dynamics between the MGI team and the HPS students, we can observe a significant degree of process conflict. Struggling with a looming deadline, the team cannot decide how to structure their work process. Dana is adamant that the meeting should be highly structured and that the MGI's limited experience calls for someone to take the lead and direct the process, a role that she and Henry adopt in a coup. Meanwhile, the MGI team members favor an unstructured brainstorming approach that allows them to creatively engage with the problem at hand. Arguably, it's due to their inability to reconcile these process differences that the group lurches into more serious relationship conflicts. The group's process disagreements contribute to a power struggle, wherein leadership is contested between the two most assertive and conflicting group members, Sasha and Dana. The research suggests that process conflicts tend to, in aggregate, uh, aggravate or even cause relationship conflict. Disagreements over process strategy brought to light in the conflicting social and professional identities of the team members, widening the rift between the students and the MGI group. As supported by the literature, group process conflict distracted the group from accomplishing the goal at hand, a complete business plan, and reduced productivity by diverting focus towards interpersonal relations. Task conflict. Task conflict concerns disagreements about the nature of the work to be done. It can include differences of opinion about goals or technical matters. Like process conflict, the literature suggests that task conflict can evolve into relationship conflict, especially in situations where a team, like the MGI team, is underperforming. Researchers suggest that if a team is performing well, the members tend to identify more with the team, reducing the likelihood of task conflict escalating into personal disagreement. Contrastingly, when team members have poor emotional regulation, something we observe in Sasha and Dana's relationship, task conflict is likely to escalate into relationship conflict. In our case, the group members do not identify strongly with the team. Instead, they identify with subgroups within the team. Uh, in the case of the HBS students and MGI founders, or do not feel like they have a place in the team, like Dav and Alex. They also show poor emotional regulation, as we can see through Sasha and Dana's emotional outbursts. We know task conflict in the MGI team in the team members' disagreement over the content and direction of the business plan. As Dana shares, she and Henry feel overwhelmed by the lack of clarity on the direction of the business plan. At the same time, Sasha finds himself competing with Dana to define the direction of the plan, thereby giving rise to relational tensions between the two of them, rather than helping to productively define the course of the project. Moving on to relationship conflict. Um, relationship conflict concerns tensions among individuals that have to do with their relationship per se, not the task at hand. So-called personality clashes are examples of relationship conflicts. Research shows that relationship conflict tends to have a detrimental impact on decision quality, group member satisfaction, and commitment. It also suggests that high levels of trust tend to have a moderating influence on the impact of relationship conflict. The MGI team's diverse background and time-constrained situation are a difficult starting point for trust building. Furthermore, the team members do not have a significant effort to build team trust, contributing to a higher risk of relationship conflict. We will now discuss some of the ways relationship conflict manifests itself for the team. First, we will talk about how personality impacts team performance. Personality is often indicative of behavioral tendencies and helps explain how people act and why people act the way they do. Music Games International is an example of a team with members of diverse personality, talent, culture, and background experiences, coupled with disorganized planning, fruitless communication, ineffective management of strong minds, and diverging visions. Human capital is a valuable investment for any team. To ensure that MGI's team makes steady progress and produces, a team-approved product. The team must work at cohesive, 
cooperative, and decisive levels. This level of trust and teamwork is more easily established after understanding each member's personality. We will analyze members' previous behavior for the purpose of aligning conflict solutions with behavior tendencies amongst team members. This can be applied to the use of conflict management approaches when it comes to team cohesion, making coherent decisions through effective collaboration and achieving progress in the future. Another important point to note is diversity and its impact on team performance. Diversity is defined as the differences among a group of individuals and in characteristics such as gender, race, age, religion, cultural background, physical ability, or sexual orientation. When these differences are not valued, it can perpetuate stereotypes that are damaging to team performance. These effects were evident among the MGI team as their lack of ability to embrace group diversity led them to act on stereotypes that created a hostile divide among the members within the group. The diversity present within the MGI team was not embraced, rather divisions based on ethnic and cultural backgrounds were created. From Dave's perspective, it was evident that there was a divide between the Harvard Business School graduates slash students and the Russians. During group discussions, the Russians felt the need to present a united front on an issue. For instance, when Roman would disagree with the others, Sasha and Igor would state, no, no, that's not what we think, implying that they each did not have an individual voice. In addition, the Russians also had discussions in the stairwell where they told Roman, we need to get it straight and stick to our story. Again, implying that they are different from the others in the team. This divide created by perceiving others based on their cultural differences has led individuals to engage in stereotyping, the tendency to generalize about people in a certain social category and ignore variations among them. For instance, Alex justified that there was a debate on every issue because it's the Russian mentality. Likewise, Dave stated that Sasha doesn't budge much he holds this position and eventually gives up due to the Russian style of consensus. Attributing behavior to such cultural stereotypes is problematic because it fails to acknowledge and address the real causes of disagreements, preventing the groups from engaging in constructive conflict. For instance, if the team members are under the impression that it is the Russian mentality to debate on every issue, they will not consider the value behind the concerns raised by the Russians and will simply dismiss the concerns as insignificant. Moreover, the divide among the groups can also serve as a factor perpetuating a lack of group cohesiveness among the MGI team. Again, this can be problematic because numerous studies have highlighted that increased group cohesiveness can contribute to efficient goal accomplishment since there will be a higher degree of participation and communication among the team members. MGI team and values. Another key issue between Henry and the MGI team is also conflict of values. According to textbook, values are a set of guidelines that determine an individual's right or wrong behaviors, and those sets of values will guide perceptions of situations around them, since each team member has different personality and work values. It can lead to a conflict among each team member's relationship with one another. In addition, we observe that these factors often crash whenever the team members join a team meeting. In terms of work values, Sasha wanted to have creative flow of ideas, whereas Henry and Dana wanted to have concrete and structured work tasks. If these two work values clashes between one another, there will be other factors such as personality traits and contextual factors that can cause more conflict between the team and delays of the MGI project. So right now we're talking about three important theories that's going to explain the causes of the work values. Number one is the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. An interesting cause for relationship conflict may be due to an unfulfilled level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It seems that the NGI group is lacking the level of steam for Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Sasha, as one of the main founders, is not acknowledging the important business contributions of Henry and Dana. And Henry and Dana are not placing importance on the wide and creative ideas of Sasha. All group members are not giving the merit and recognition of one another's qualities and work inputs. Therefore, if one idea that Sasha thinks is right and beneficial for the company, Henry and Dana may think that is wrong and harmful for the company's reputation. Second theory is the dispositional approach theory. Another idea that can explain the difference with the mismatch of values is that each person possesses stable personality traits. In the case of Sasha, he seems to have a less percentage of agreeableness than Henry and Dana. Therefore, if he maintains his core work values, Sasha will not be as likely to be easily persuaded by Dana and the rest of the group. 
creating conflict among the group and long discussions that does not promote any benefit to progress the MGI project. In the case of Henry, based on his high sense of deadline and responsibility, he seems to have a higher level of conscientiousness in comparison towards Sasha. Therefore, he may think it is a right according to his work values of being organized and efficient, and this will lead to a conflict between Sasha's work values of being spontaneous and creative. Lastly, the dispositional attribution theory talks about in an internal or dispositional attribution. People infer that an event or a person's behavior is due to personal factors such as traits, abilities, or feelings. In an external or situational attribution, people infer that a person's behavior is due to situational factors. The behaviors of each team member seem to be consistent across time and each team meeting. Therefore, when each team member follows a consistent set of work values, they will tend to behave and act according to those sets of values. When Sasha perceives that his ideas are not well received, he tends to withdraw from the team and refuses to listen to Harry and Dana. When Harry and Dana perceive that Sasha is not talking, not listening to the business ideas that they're offering, they behave as confused and puzzled by Sasha's behavior and negative reactions. We know that there are further situational circumstances that the team members have no control over at play in the case of the MGI team that are likely contributing to the intensity of the three types of conflict that we have discussed. The case competition is taking place in the aftermath of the dot-com bubble, a time where prospects were extremely uncertain for technology businesses, and a time when graduates were facing the worst job market in a decade, as Henry mentions. Research also suggests that the dot-com bubble placed many additional stressors on workers, for instance, an increasing sense of burnout. Moreover, our team is facing a narrow deadline, which further aggravates the situational stress that they are reporting. We should be cognizant of the context facing Henry and MGI in suggesting possible solutions going forward. We are now in the final stages of developing solutions for the MGI case in correspondence to dealing with the three types of conflict. We will bring the entire MGI team online to participate in our big reveal. MGI team, thank you for joining us once again. We understand that the solutions for process conflict will be aimed at improving team processes. Solutions to relationship conflict focuses on achieving coherent communication and collaboration. And finally, Tackling task conflict aims to establish designated roles and clear objectives so that your team is able to make progress on the business plan. To help the MGI team to set aside their disagreements and move towards their goals, we suggest the team to focus on the following strategies. Firstly, team reflexivity. We suggest that the MGI team engage in greater team reflexivity to remedy their process and relationship conflicts. Team reflexivity involves the conscious reflection on team functioning and is found to be a key determinant of performance improvement in teams, especially ones that are doing poorly, such as the MGI team. As we have observed, the MGI team fails to engage in significant collective discourse about their task process. Instead, they find themselves splintering into groups on the basis of collective identity, such as uh, cultural identity and uh, professional identity, and they end up getting caught up in their disagreements over the process. If instead the team members took the time to step aside from the problem and understand the root causes of their tensions, then they would be able to augment their performance. Anna will now talk about constructive conflict. Constructive conflict is most likely to promote good decisions and positive organizational change. Such conflict means that the parties in the conflict agree that its benefits outweigh its costs. This is most likely when the tendency to avoid conflict is suppressed and the parties engage in open-minded discussion of their differences, being open to evidence that is counter to their current positions. A vivid example of constructive conflict is uh, it was only when each team member openly shared their vision for the product that MGI team realized that everyone had a different vision. The research indicates that this type of conflict contributes to the development of shared mental models or a clear sense of task and process, which has been shown to improve team performance. In other words, when a problem arises with constructive conflict, it will be the members of the team against the problem, never members of the team against one another. Next, Daniela will tell us more about trust building. As evident from the research, uh, higher levels of trust moderate the potential for task conflict to become relationship conflict and are also associated with increased mutual cooperation and relationship satisfaction. 
We believe that the MGI team needs to take concrete steps to build trust between team members. Providing them with opportunities to share leadership responsibilities could foster greater trust, thereby yielding positive process outcomes. We believe that if MGA involves all members in the decision-making process, rather than letting the most vocal members, such as Sasha and Dana, take the lead, members will be more comfortable accepting one another's ideas and influence on the decision-making process. This is likely to reduce relational friction, including intergroup biases, and increase member accountability and sense of ownership over the outcomes. It is also likely to increase collective self-efficacy, or the team's belief in their ability to achieve their goal, thereby growing the group's confidence and mutual understanding. MGI can achieve this so-called shared leadership by assigning clear leadership responsibilities to each team member, drawing on their strengths and interests. MGI may further want to make an effort to build team cohesiveness through other informal cultural sharing activities, such as team potlucks. Monica will now discuss value solutions. Yes, so the group can or also work together to achieve more diversity and inclusion of different values. Diversified sets of work values will allow each team member to demonstrate their abilities and contributions for the team. When such abilities and contributions are acknowledged, all team members will reach an intrinsic motivation to bring the MGI project forward and win the business competition. We recommend that all team members collaborate in order to develop and agree on shared work values that they can all agree and feel motivated to accomplish. In addition, the group might consider selecting a core leader that can handle the business operational side of the MGI project and other team members can rely on their creative ideas to the business team leaders. Based on this approach, the MGI team will have an easier and smoother interaction among group meetings and high chances to bring the MGI project into success. Next, Abby is going to talk about leveraging diversity. Yeah, so as evident from our analysis of the case, diversity is potentially at fault for some of the significant difficulties in the MGI team's work process. However, the research uh, does suggest that teams can draw on diversity as a strength with researchers uh, indicating that diverse teams tend to be less vulnerable to groupthink and tend to exhibit richer and more effective communication. In order to leverage these strengths, the MGI team may want to work to build consensus on desired outcomes and processes across their subgrouping of students versus Russians. Um, furthermore, the team members should recognize the prejudicial effect of stereotyping on their team functioning and take steps to intentionally confront their stereotypes of one another. So one way this can be done is through assigning a mediator or someone in a leadership role. Um, the MGI team might also consider choosing um, a team member that will take on the leadership role and to ensure team cohesion. So based on Alex's adaptive profile, background in both business and music, strong knowledge and experience in the music industry, market shares, culture and language with the MGI founders, also shares age group with the graduates, students that make up more than half the team, making him the most suitable for the mediator role within the team. Alex formally acted as the MGI founders informal advisor for several months. This shows that the founders not only trust his ability, but also approves respect of his of his knowledge in the field. Within the previous team meetings, Alex was an active listener and placed valuable input, one of the few people that is able to capture the attention and ears of all team members without dispute. So we think Alex would be the most suitable candidate that should take on this mediator leadership role. And lastly, we're gonna talk about collective agenda setting. The literature indicates that collective agenda setting is essential to building commitment to a shared vision, increased trust, and generating buy-in for team goals. Developing a common agenda for meetings and agreed upon timeline for deliverables could help the team leverage the benefits of collective agenda setting. And that brings our solution presentation to an end. We, Matt Consultants, believe in you, Music Games International. We want to wish you all the best. best.